lodge maintenance as a tenant, first we visit our property profile by clicking property on the left and then click our tasks tab to take us through to all current activities for the property we rent. To lodge a new request, all we need to do is click add a task to bring up the how we can help menu. There are two options here. I can request maintenance or I can request a general query. So this is if I have any questions regarding my lease, I can click that question mark. But in this example today, we're going to lodge a maintenance request. Once I highlight that maintenance icon, I click next and it will ask me what priority my maintenance request is. So I've got a few options here, low through to high, but then there's also an emergency category here as well. Emergency repairs or urgent repairs, uh, items that must meet certain criteria, depending on your state and also your type of property. So if I click emergency, it will give me an option as to how I can lodge an emergency repair. And if I'm not sure if this qualifies, I can click what is an urgent repair here to see all of the information in our help article. Remember, each state has different rules, so click on your relevant state and it will take you through to the local legislation and give you some further information to help you identify whether or not your request qualifies. For the example today, we're just going to set it as a normal priority and click next. Now we get to the page we need to describe the issue. So we're going to give the property manager here as much information as possible to help them understand what problem we're having. So the title just be a basic summary of what the problem is. So in this case, I'm going to say we've got a broken fence. In the description, I'm going to note that one of the fence posts has fallen off. So I've got a, or a loose fence post as an example. Fence post needs reattaching. If you'd lost it, you might say that it's been stolen or whatever it might be. You can give as much detail as possible. And then finally, in this what area is the issue in, I'm going to select the front yard because that's where my fence is. On the next screen it will ask me to supply some photos or a video to support my request. Now won't you proceed without uploading something here so try and take a photo or a couple of photos of the issue get as much information take a, a, a picture that will accurately represent the request. If you are doing this from your iPad or your iPhone or your Android device you can take a photo or a video straight into the managed app if you're doing it later on, you can upload a picture that you've already taken and all that somebody has sent you as an example. You can upload as many as you like, but one is required and then I can click next to proceed to my access times. Now, these access times here are just indicative. They don't guarantee that the tradesperson is gonna be available at that particular day and time, uh, but you can nominate preferred windows or if you are quite flexible, just select any day and time and then click next. The next screen will ask me how I want to give access to this tradesperson. So if a trade is gonna come out and fix my fence, I need to either let them in myself, in which case I'll click I will allow access. But if I can't be there, I can let the agency know that I can't allow access for whatever reason, and they'll get in contact with me to discuss the options. In this example today, most tenants do allow access for the trades. I'm gonna click I will allow access. I will just remind them I have a dog and submit my request. Finally, I'm on my confirmation screen. It's let me know that my maintenance request is now on its way to my agency. My property manager will review it. This doesn't mean that it's been accepted. It means that all that information has gone to them to either discuss with the owner or accept themselves. For me to get updates, there are a couple of ways I can do this. I can either close this is a creation window, click into my task and watch my status across the top. So I will see when that changes. But I can also ask for updates as well by using the reply function. So down the bottom, if I click my speech bubble, I can ask my property manager if there are any updates to this particular request at any point in time. That would deliver an email to them and they can respond and their response will come back into my thread here too.